I love it when my hair matches the sky. It's Monday today. It's 9-11. Um, it's the anniversary of my mum passing. So it's a very, yeah, funny one. So my heart goes out to anyone else who's lost somebody, no matter when. Um, and yeah, it was unexpected when it happened. I haven't dealt with it, I'm sure I haven't. But I'm a very spiritual person in that I do feel her around. Could you talk to her? So that definitely must help. Because it's not such a feeling of loss. We had a very fraught relationship for a long time. And then over the last few years, I kind of started doing work on myself, trying to understand my own reactions and things like that. And um, it brought a peace between us. Because I kind of realised why she reacted the way that she did to a lot of things. Because she'd had a very difficult childhood and upbringing. So, yeah, pleased to say the last few years were um, pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you for, again, continued support. Um, and for those of you that have watched yesterday's video um, where I had a bit of a incident at the petrol station and it just kind of reminded me that we just never know what other people are going through and what's going on with other people so for those of you that haven't watched yesterday briefly I ran out I was I ran out of pretty much almost ran out of fuel and the petrol station that I got to should have been open but wasn't and the lady that was manning it said that the man had come to fix it but they were both stood having a fag and a coffee and she obviously reacted in a way because she felt under attack she maybe well she saw me on my phone and obviously felt quite under attack but rather than deal with it in any I don't know she shouted across the forecourt to a friend well she shouldn't have run out of petrol should she which um, quite annoyed me but it just goes to show you never know what other people are dealing with I mean she walks with a, a stick so she has a physical disability Maybe it's a lesson to us all. We just never know what other people are dealing with. Doesn't mean we should excuse like really crappy behavior, but maybe it's the way that we respond to that crappy behavior. I know as well that I, because I have ADHD and I get triggered really quickly with rejection sensitive dysphoria. So when I feel like snubbed or rejected, my responses are way out of proportion to the event. In the past, I'd have shouted, cried, argued, sworn, wound myself up, which would have... Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> nearly! Nearly got on you'd been framed! <laughs> oh. Yeah! I'm talking sensible, don't even fall down. <laughs> yeah, if I'd have got angry and uh, ended up in a row with her, I'd still be rowing about it in a week, two weeks' time in my own heat. But I was able to let it go. In the words of Frozen. So I'm not going to the unit again today. I really need to start going to it. Partly because... Um, I've realised how insane I go just sat at home 
absolutely out of my head insane but with dad <laughs> because he's struggling so much and he's a very negative person and even if I put something on the telly he sighs he comments I thought oh I'll put Ant-Man on you can't go far wrong Ant-Man I'm gonna work my way through all the Marvel films because I've just signed up to Disney um, I put Ant-Man on you can't go wrong halfway through what a ridiculous film the premise behind this film is apps uh, stop <laughs> find something else to watch <laughs> anyway so yes it's proper wrecking my head in I need to be doing something um, my bracelets are all pretty much ready to go and today I'm gonna sign up to a website barking there's another there's another dog walker on here come here can't remember where I was now can't have been that important it's a beautiful day we did have a, a real rainstorm for about an hour yesterday um, but it's not made any difference to the weather but apparently the weather's gonna break tomorrow then we'll all be going, oh no, it's winter, it's so miserable, oh no. Yes, I'm going to build my website today, hopefully, um, and get that launched. got lots of bracelets to list that I just don't want to list on Etsy. So, so, I'll do them myself. Thank you very much. I'm just going to do them myself. And get this business up and running. I've accidentally become obsessed with Ryan Reynolds. I think, when I think about it now, it's a part of ADHD. Oh, hang on, swapping hands. It's a part of ADHD, this hyper-focus. And I always complain that I don't get hyper-focus on anything useful. But I've always had hyper-focus on um, people. And I've become hyper-focused on Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Hang on. That could have been a Fermi. No, it wasn't. I cheated. I cheated then, did you see? I touched it with my foot. That's not one of the moves. You're allowed to touch them with your foot and then you don't have to pick them up. That's not one of the moves. I don't know if I'm going to be able to concentrate for very much for you because this isn't Pebble Alley this runs parallel to Pebble Alley but it's looking quite pebbly after the weekend what was I saying? Oh, I'm just talking rubbish about Ryan Reynolds I do love him though <laughs> he just seems like such a nice person I hope one day stories don't come out that he's an absolute wally. That will be disappointing. My obsession will pass, I'm sure. Well, it'll have to because I can't marry him because he's all murdered in my weight. Plus, I don't want to get my weight. <laughs> I've got my dogs. What do I need boys for? I don't even need no boys. Can you see? It's a black fairy. A black fairy stone. Wow! That good. And a white fairy stone. Thanks, universe. We'll give him with some good stones. That's a nice. Oh, that's another fair mate. That was a fake fair mate. It's only a half fair mate because on the back, it's not even a fair mate. But uh, it's, this was the one. That... It's got a broken bottom. It looks lovely from the top, 
but it's got a broken bottom. That reminds me of the top. Oh. There's another fairy. Eh? Gosh, it's very fairy today. Reminds me of at the time when I saw a very shiny black stone. What I thought, wow, that looks good. And I went to pick it up and it turned out to be fox poo. I just did that and put my hand in fox poo. <laughs> Not so good, really. <laughs> I'm wearing like a play suit, right? Right? But now I need a wee wee, right? And I'm in the middle of a field, right? But I've got my walking belt attached around my waist. Now this is like a puzzle. What is the conundrum? What is the challenge? Oh, pleasing shape. Look, I painted my nails. I decided to just go with, although how annoying is that? It's come off already. But I decided to just go with what I've got that just embrace a bit of colour and maybe that would be okay and straight away I felt better straight away the little things that we do for ourselves might seem frivolous and flippant but are worth it hmm? Hmm? just admiring my hair I'm not admiring it I'm thinking what is going on there? I don't know, I'm going to have a wee wee though. I might see if you can just like open one leg and pee out through it. <laughs> no, you can't just wee through the leg hole. You can try it. You can feel like it's going really well. And then you stand up and you realise you've got wee all down the back of your leg. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> it's a good job it's a warm day, I'm walking like a self, I mean, I'd have been, I might as well have just peed my own punts. <laughs> Everything's a lesson though, you know what I'm saying, you live and learn. You cannot just pull your leg to the side when you're wearing a play suit and pee. You can't do it, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm 51, by the way, not 12. There's a kmicket. So you're gonna make, you're gonna hop. Did you mean a kmicket? You better get out of the way. 